is up everybody uh levi here trend mage um you might know the drill by now but if not i'm a practicing occultist um, i am initiated through the cliff Oth. um i am a pretty damn gifted tarot reader um, i've been working at that for four years now um yeah divinator necromancer and uh all around someone who is um striving for growth not only for myself but for uh the people around me so um I hope everybody is doing well. Um, yeah, uh, I wanted to talk about the divine and um, divination and um, reading the signs and how they speak. And um, what you can do to... Um, To hear them better. So, um, first things first, um, the divine can speak in um, almost any way. Um, they can tap you on the shoulder, literally, and say your name they can um they can um you could turn your head and um look at a sign that says something that speaks to you and you just know that that is not just a normal sign that is a spiritual sign um you could have a reoccurring issue <clears throat> like uh, for instance I'm going to be honest I don't think that I'm supposed to probably be doing this but um, the spirits are kind of allowing me to um, have a little bit of fun right now because I'm in such a chaotic time I do find myself gripping to some niceties or addictions or um, shit like that but um, I receive signs from the divine every single day um, last night I was at this bar and um, I was just hanging out for I was probably there for like an hour, maybe like an hour and a half. And um, it's pretty crazy. Like some of the things that happen in my life on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, this is one of the reasons I like to go out. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't really connect with people very well when I um, go out to bars and stuff. I'm not really looking for that. I'm mostly just trying to like, well, last night I was kind of just trying to kill time. To be 100% honest with you. But, um, yeah, I was also just, um, um, I don't know. There was this bar in the city I'm at called, like, the Lux Bar or something like that. Something in, like, the, the terms of, like, Lux. And, um, it was, like, 666 something is, like, the address. And, um, I went there New Year's, and I'm hanging out by myself a lot. Like, I'm just going out. New Year's, I'm, I'm not, you know, I have, like, a glass of champagne, and that was really all I, you know, I'm not, like, overindulging by any means. I'm not going there to get drunk. I just uh, like to be in public and to, to feel those energies and whatnot. But um, 
yeah, I feel like I have to justify myself. I've had a lot of issues with going out and stuff like that. So I'm kind of healing and um, just re like finding the new version of myself and all that. And um, so last night I had some time to kill and um, I was just like, I'll just go check out what's going on at this bar. So um, I love to like sing karaoke. I really have a good time. Um, anytime that there's karaoke at a bar, I try to watch the people and listen and, um, at least sing one song. It's really something fun for me. Um, I don't like just going that, going to a bar and sitting, um, even if I know, you know, depending on the people, but if you're having a good conversation, you know, but most of the time it's just, that's a waste of time usually. So, um, so yeah, that was cool. I, I was working with um, all sorts of spirits. Like I've, I've been working with Moloch uh, quite a bit the last few months, but specifically I started drawing a sigil on my right hand because I wanted to just like push out this Moloch energy. And um, Belial on my left hand, Lilith here, um, Leviathan, and um, yeah, got a couple other spirits. But yeah, I actually invoked uh, Lord Belial, Belial, however you want to pronounce it, um, with a burning, burning his sigil. And um, he does wonderful things in my life. He really does. Like I walk right in and karaoke's going on and I don't know. I do a lot of this kind of stuff naturally. I just go with the flow. I don't try to plan things very much because... <laughs> my life has been so all over the place. I can't really plan. I just have to, you know, I have to go with the flow. So I didn't know what was going on. I wanted to check things out. So this is something that was really cool. I, I walked up to this one guy and he was standing there. He looked like he was at, like next to sing. And I was just like, do you, like, how do you sign up? Like, so he told me and I did this QR code thing and I got all set up. And um, I was dressed in, um, like, I had, like, eyeliner on. Like I, had, like, I had, like, blacked out eyes. And I just was, like, kind of vibing, like, going with a different look. You know, might have a little bit on still, but I don't know. But, yeah, and I just was, like, feeding into that, like, gothic energy. So I was, like, I'm going to do, like, not that this is super goth or anything, but I was, like, I want to do a Smith song. So, um... I went to the bathroom and I, you know, picked the that's the Smith song. Um, There's a light that never goes out, and um, I love that song. But I don't. When I think about a song or something like that, I don't think like, oh, these are the lyrics. I wasn't thinking about what the lyrics were. I was just like, maybe like the first lyric, like, like take me, take me out tonight. Where there's music and there's people and they're young and alive. Like that was kind of like a cool vibe I thought. For like singing at a bar or whatever. But I wasn't like reading too deep into it. But you know there's more like to that later. But uh, ended up when that guy ended up um, singing. He was um, singing with a girl. And the song that came on I think it's called... Um, tell me you're that somebody or are you that somebody by Aaliyah and um that shit is that's what that was a very like divine message for me because um when I had a lot of stuff going on like in me a lot of uh chaotic initiation um alchemy alchemy going on like when um I talked about in uh the universal mastery videos um, like the stuff that was going on with that girl, like when I, um, like I, I had, to, I went back to work for a day and I had to end up leaving and go to the ER cause I was, um, having health issues. And, um, when I got back to my apartment, there was a, like, I was trying to relax and I was listening to that song a lot. Um, I, it's just a song that I really love. It's got a really sick beat. 
and um, a really sick, uh, it's just, it's awesome. I love that song so much. So, and that's not a song I've ever heard anybody play. I'm not saying it's like super obscure or anything, but I've never heard anybody else play that song. So when that came on, I was like, yep. Cause that was the guy that I spoke to, you know, like these things all happen for a reason. And um, it's really cool. Like, you know, the message can be, it doesn't, the message a lot of times is just like, to me, what I pick up from the spirits is like, we're here with you. You are right where you, you need to be. So then when I sing my song, I was the last uh, person like it was like right around midnight and that's when uh, karaoke finished and um, the the it was crazy like just listen like just singing these lyrics out as I'm reading them because um, I know the song well enough that I didn't need to like go over the lyrics but it's uh, I don't like I don't know I know I've written written a lot of songs and I have I've such a wide taste of music and songs I I know these lyrics, but they come out as I'm um, listening and stuff. So, like I said, it wasn't a conscious thing, but it was like, um, yeah, it's like something's like uh, driving in your car. Please don't drop me home because it isn't my home. It's their home and I'm welcome no more. And it's like, if any of you guys know about like the shit that went down with my mom and stuff, it's like, I'm not welcome in in her life basically like she was trying to put me into like mental institution like she wanted to she wanted me to get like mental help and like they her and my stepdad were not gonna be happy if I just went back home like home whatever and just like tried to go about my life I know it man I just know it there wouldn't have been a good they would have tried to fuck with me they would have it for one it just would have been issues but two they literally probably would have tried to make me go seek help or whatever like and um so that hit me it was like yeah like this is really about my life right now and um i think that was it for last night really but um i've had a lot of um experiences like there is this um this circle casting ritual by michael ford that i actually learned through uh jeremiah as well on his patreon and um one of the lines in it is like um envenom my workings and that's like a big thing in the in the left hand path is like reptiles and snakes and venom and so i was doing some uh a lot of invocations like I always do and um, so there was a powerful um, working that I was doing in public and I um, was walking through a parking lot and um, when I go to my car the um, the truck right by my car or on the way like the license plate said venom and um, today I'm driving um, on the highway and um, I look up and it, it's a sign that says no kid should have to sleep on the streets and um, I'm literally homeless right now like I I fucking like was up all night at this um, like I parked in this place in my hometown that I know is safe and I wasn't able to sleep my the back seat of my car is completely filled up. I was trying to sleep, but I've been drinking a lot of coffee and um my sleep schedule is a little all over the place, so I ended up staying up all night. I don't know, yada yada yada, but I ended up sleeping in um the movie theater for a bit today and that was interesting. Oh, and that's another thing. I I'm glad that I said that because I went to go see um the Whitney Houston movie. And again, I didn't know what that movie was about. I know a little bit about Whitney Houston, but I didn't even know that was like a biopic. I was thinking that was um, maybe like a concert, like a found footage, like an actual, like I thought maybe Whitney Houston was actually in it. But no, that is about the, st like, that's about her life. And like, um, that was really powerful. That was bringing me to tears. 
Um, it's about like she's how gifted she is and how abusive both of her parents were to her. Um, she signs like a record deal and she starts um, getting all of this like clout and like good fortune and she's wearing Levi like Levi's on her on her shirts <clears throat> and um her parents kept trying to like manipulate her and I don't it, it, it was really speaking to me and it's like um I went to see every time I see a movie or watch a movie in general now which is not very often I don't finish them very often either but um, regardless of, well, that's interesting because I don't finish them a lot, but they, they speak to me very heavily. I, <laughs> before, this will be my last um, example of um, divination and the spirit speaking to me. Before everything went down with me and my mom, with myself getting burned and getting um, basically removed from my, my home and um, driven out into a new life. Um, I think it was the night before, honestly, I was watching this old 1940s movie called um, Into the Past, I think it's called. Um, it's a classic. It's a classic noir um, detective movie. And um, it's all about like this guy who's been, he's like the underdog completely. And he um, he's very manipulated by women, specifically one woman. And... Um, he kind of, uh, against all odds, comes out on top. And I really knew when I was watching that, like, I swear, I knew. I was like, this is... And then another thing, like, I go... Like, this is just off the top of my head. I forget these things because of how often this stuff happens to me. Like, I um, was going through some of my old CDs because I just left my my um, my home, my the house I grew up in. I just left today, and I'm not going back. And, um... This is one of my, uh, this is my favorite Bruce Springsteen. He's not my favorite or anything, but this album I really do like. And if you if you uh, learn some of the lyrics of these songs, man, it's like it was speaking to me about what's going on in my life right now. Like um, the first song, "Lights Out Tonight," "Trouble in the Heartland," "Got a Head on Collision," "Smashing in My Guts," man. I've been having stomach issues. Um, I'm caught in a crossfire that I don't understand. I don't give a damn for the same old played out scenes. I don't give a damn for just the in-betweens. Honey, I want the heart. I want the soul. I want control right now. Um, oh, yeah, and then Adam... I think it's the second song is called Adam Reed Raised a Cane. And that's, I think the message in that is all about how Adam, you know, being first man, supposed to be some sort of holy figure, and he raised a cane, which is <clears throat> the first um, witch, the first... Um, yeah, Cain is very, um, <clears throat> very um, respected in um, the left-hand path. Um, with Michael Ford's stuff, he will talk about, you know, the first of witch blood, Cain, Osm Osmoday, who is of Cain. Um, and again, that was like Adam raised a Cain. That's making me think about um, my mom and um, how she views herself as some sort of holy uh whatever and being a christian and all that bullshit and um she raised a cane um yeah so i can't say like that that you're gonna receive that type of um divination but eventually i mean if you get on the, the same kind of wavelength i'm on i can't imagine that you wouldn't so um yeah, go back to to my first couple videos, my first um, lecture video, whatever you want to call this kind of stuff. Like, if you want to increase this kind of stuff, your psychic powers and um, have the spirits communicate with you more on a daily basis. Like, um, look into uh, finding 
some patrons to work with because um, when you open those doors, they will um, they will uh, walk through those doors and they will um, not leave, and they will they will set up a home in your reality, and it really is a beautiful thing. It really is because um, it can just give you so much power that um, you're just you just don't have um, on your own. Um, in the mundane aspect of things just living your life so that's going to wrap it up for the video um, as always make sure you like and subscribe um, you know we need to make YouTube aware of Trend Mage this needs to um, this needs to grow because this um, stuff my experiences um, and my uh advice and um energy needs to be um sent out there and um, received by more people so do what you can please if this you know if this speaks to you in some ways like seriously do your part please it helps me it helps you we're making a real change in this reality um so yeah do those things for me please and um, check out the patreon i am channeling new spells incantations good stuff every single day and i'm in the middle of a crazy chaotic time so just imagine what it's going to be like when i'm actually a little bit more stable and i can really chip away at the grindstone in a consistent manner these things are just coming to me like like crazy gnosis um so uh check that out um i'm going to be releasing a free spell when i have 20 subs so i think i have nine or ten right now so yeah let's get give me some subs if you want to try out some of the spells i've been channeling they're really powerful like i'm i really am um finally seeing the power that um is behind me and within me so um, check out the Patreon if you want tarot readings. Patreon is a good place to go. You could always hit me up on Twitter. Um, for for most things, just hit me up on Twitter if you're not trying to go through Patreon. Like if you want to do a consultation call, um, if you want to, um, you know, if you want some guidance through um, initiations. <coughs> I'm more than happy to help. Um, I've got a lot of experience. And um, everything is starting to come together. So I'm able to be more of a guide. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys very much. And we will see you soon. Thanks.